Hi you guys, I am back at the Goodville. Yes, I know I was just here the other day with George, but it's Tuesday and this is the day that they are busy restocking and they are, they're all restocking. So, say hi to the big snowman. He's as tall as the ceiling. And let's start with my favorite wall. Now I did do vases, let me come get you. I've got a nice Hager vase so far, 30% off, so it's gonna be about $7. A couple of vintage vases here. I mean planters, sorry. California pottery. That's kind of a cool one. And this one's real pretty with the drip glaze, right? Oh, my hands are always so dry. USA, right now. Um, a Starbucks mug that I spotted the mermaid, so I knew it was a Starbucks, and it is. Some holographic wrapping paper real cheap and I especially like this one look at this one that one has a mid-century modern vibe let me get it out look at this one with the mid-century modern vibe can you see it that's super cool and then these are both just holographic um, I'm not sure what this is so I'm gonna check it out but look it's nicely done and so I need to investigate what that symbol is, and I'll do that. This is a tissue box holder, but I love it. Oh, it's heavy. With the blue and white shell, that's really pretty. $2.99, probably just something from Ross or Marshalls, but it's a quality one, okay? It's a quality one. Oops, and then this is still new in package. Fun desktop wood dice by the Berkshire Company. Is that sold like at Ikea or something? Anyways, um, it'll be a little bit off. And it's fun. Just flip those around. The Berkshire Company, haven't they been in business for a long time doing like um, corporate gift type stuff? Okay, so I'm going to show you some art before we move on to my favorite wall down. The one I let George do first the other day, right? I'm just going to show you guys some artwork. See, or look at it with you guys I mean because I saw some cool stuff there that's kind of cool isn't it plastic wood like so what is that 60s maybe 70s when that was the thing it says as is 1999 and it's signed by Hardy I'm not a clown person but I know some people are and at least that one's got a little twinkle and a little bit of a smile a little bit of a nervous smile but it's not evil or mischievous looking I just thought we'd look at it that's too much to pay I love a good lenticular let's pull this out and see if it's cute oh my gosh okay it's not the best lenticular ever but it's cute with the little puppies they don't really like do anything it's just more of a 3d depth than it is any kind of like smile don't smile or whatever that's cute though how much 4.99 you guys <laughs> that's cute though and i wanted to see what this was hang on oh okay photographed by james that person i think i've heard that name city museum yeah i think i've seen this i've seen that place i mean not in person but online so that's why I'm attracted to that. Okay. HN painted this. It looks Egyptian. Not too bad, right? Some kind of cross stitch or needle point. I'd have to remind myself which one is which. Oh, what's this funniness? Hang on. This might be something funny. Let's see what somebody did here. Okay, it's $6.99. Personal canvas articles, evils of dormitory life. <laughs> Flirting and speaking to male students with, okay, this is hilarious. Class of 1905, this is hilarious. How much is that, $6.99? I wonder if that's a repop or if that's, <laughs> well, yeah, because they didn't have printing like that. And I, I don't know. Got the old, like, not 
super old antique but like retro little photo holders I'm gonna stick this in the cart for now there's something about that I really like okay my favorite wall let's wait till this gentleman gets done let's go look at something else real quick well whatever that is George was filming that when he was here the other day so he'll that'll be in his video and he'll tell us all about that right this wasn't here, I don't think. 1999, someone painted that. They did a pretty good job. A little heart-shaped end table. They painted both layers. Let me back up a little bit. That's, that's sweet. This is a pretty vintage. It might even be leaning on antique. I don't know. It's on wheels. I love that. On casters. And look at the cool shape. The ends flip down, flip back up. That's cool. $34.99. I'm going to back up. I love that. The shape and that it's on rollers. Three on each side. Some big trees. I bought one years and years ago at the thrift store. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. That's a tree. Well, we are in Colorado, right? I love that big basket, though. Okay, let's go see if now my wall is clear. Oh my gosh, you guys. I could never get to where this wasn't too busy, so I just kind of went to this side and just breezed back and forth it real quick to make sure I didn't miss any art glass. And then, you know, I was going to come back and start slower. You guys, yes, it happened. When I found Miss Pris, what, two months ago? I said, okay, I really want a Mr. Toodles. There it was, $1.29. A very vintage Mr. Toodles. I have a Shih Tzu. Really, it's a Shih Chi. Highway is a Shih Chi. Shih Tzu, Chihuahua, Mom. Shih Tzu, Dad, Chihuahua, Mom. Now, I'm going to keep this, and I could put my Miss Pris up for sale. I am so happy right now. I can even go home. <laughs> go home happy. Yes. Okay, but seriously, let me look at this real quick and let's go check the um, rounder tops in the clothing department. And I'm going to look at clothing because I didn't get to look at clothing when George was here. Well, not that I didn't get to, you know, I just, I wanted us to have time to hit as many thrift stores for hard goods as possible. What's that say? Dorothy Berryman, 1992. That pattern makes me think of like her end, if I'm saying it right. Okay, let me get Mr. Toodles tucked away safe. Thank you. And then we'll do this. I don't think there's a lot here because I did kind of scope it out because I was worried. And everything else I think I've seen when I was here with George. Oh, that's interesting. Polynesian, it's real lightweight, like a painted shell or gourd and then wicker. Very Polynesian. <laughs> down yeah I saw most of this stuff with George there's a few new pieces and of course my Mr. Toodles I bet you that Mr. Toodles just came out because they're putting stuff out right now there is no way that was gonna sit there for much longer so I'm glad I did a quick you know recon to the side real quick okay, that's a possibility Limoges looking little thing, huh? I'm not quite in the mood for these right now. Oh, that's a Luxon. Limoges would be probably more expensive. I mean, you know, better resale. Remember now, sometimes things look better from far away on film than they really are. So, let's see. Oh, my dad donates to these people and they send him little gifts. The Indian school. Yes, he does. <laughs> 2019. I think these are like thank you gifts, depending on how much money you, you know, help them out with. Right, you guys, I've seen all this. 
so you have to trust me, okay? It's either chipped or it just is not as good as it looks. <laughs> He's cute, but he's cracked down the back, so we better pass on that, right? Wait a minute, this looks like something familiar. Somebody wrote the price on it. That looks like something familiar. Resellable. I mean, not a whole lot, but you know. I keep looking at this one. I should probably just get it. I keep looking at it. Little Yadro looking copies. Okay. Oh, these are vintage. Japan, 129 and 129. There's just some nice little 70s art. <laughs> Definitely. What, 70s? Maybe leaning into the 80s? And speaking of, let's back up and see Norman Rockwell. Oh boy, I don't know what's going on up there. A modern piece. Heineken. Uh, I need to check that name. That might be a famous artist that maybe even who knows could be doing comics or street art. I see Hello Kitty. I see a cat with headphones. Um, looks like she might have one of those tattoos on her back. So what is that? starting in the 90s we're gonna check that one oh, sorry we're gonna check that one out the rest of these are prints wait a minute I saw one more this one I wanted to check yes that one too I don't see anything else you guys so maybe that that one there but there's somebody there i don't want to i want to do that six feet thing okay and get you guys up high we're going to go look at the rounders of all the clothing oh wait as i was panning look <laughs> little panther purse dang it i wish those were silver $6.99 oh that's cute. If that goes on, if that's still here when it's sale time, I'm going to get that. What's this? Abstract art. $7.99. Not super old or anything. Maybe a little vintage leaning, but that's cool. I could see someone artsy really liking this. And it's got an 80s, 90s vibe to it. I might do this. Yeah, we might do that. I've done all the rounder tops and the clothing. Um, didn't really find anything, but I'm kind of fascinated by this. It runs on three batteries, three AA batteries. It's $10. But it sure is cute. Wait, let me back up. It's about 14 inches. Oh, look, it's got prismatic glitter. That something is just, I guess, you know, pumping it up and blowing it around. <laughs> oh, I kind of want that. But you know what? I have a Christmas tree, so it's just the sparkly right <laughs> get over it <laughs> hang on i'm here somewhere hi hi okay from the shoe department i picked out an awesome pair of uggs for myself yes they're 25 dollars, but that's a good deal there's hardly any drag i don't think these were worn very much and um nice waterproof right but uh also hey shout out to nathaniel <laughs> All right, let's go make one more pass over at Hard Goods because they were putting stuff out as I was looking at clothing and stuff. See you guys in a minute. 
hey, you want to hear a good story? So <laughs> I was checking men's department, the rounder tops, like I told you guys I was going to. And I saw this. And so I grabbed it real quick. The bottom was missing because I bought a small one of these the other day. Well, last month with Hannah. And um, of course, it's cool, right? I like that kind of stuff. And a gentleman that was had a handful of men's clothing said, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, that's mine. And I said, oh, okay, sorry. And then he showed me the bottom part. And I said, oh, that goes with it. And we put it together. I said, hey, how much is that? And $5.99. I went, oh, man, you're so lucky. And then he said I could have it. And so I was like, no, it's okay, it's okay. I just live around the corner. I'm here all the time. But he just insisted that I go ahead and have it. And so I gave him $5 for letting me buy it. I bought one of his shirts that he had in his hand. And so he kind of liked that. So this will have cost me $10, but I don't care. <laughs> That's going to be gorgeous when you turn it on, right? That's going to be awesome. I need to keep it away from Mr. Toodles. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay. Anyways, I'm taking one last sweep through this aisle because they are still putting stuff out. Okay, you guys, I think I'm done. I've had a good time. Hey, this is your Molly. Yes, yes that's, one, that's my favorite. She's the most patient with me. <laughs> Look, she just found something and said, hey, I'm just putting this back on the shelf. You might like that. That's cute. And I said, yeah, let me have that. Anyways. Molly's usually the cashier and she always has, I always look to see what belt she's wearing. Now today she's very hippies bod though and I like that too. <laughs> Alright, okay you guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye.